Okay, well, hello everyone. Thank you all for listening into our webinar on the fundamentals of ozone laundry presented to you by the NICOR Gas Energy Efficiency Program. My name is Christine Del Prior. I'm an outreach associate for Clear Result, formerly Resource Solutions Group, on behalf of the NICOR Gas Energy Efficiency Program. This webinar will be recorded and you'll be able to access the recording on NICORGASRebates.com. We are going to leave some time at the end for questions. Uh, you can feel free to write questions in the comment box as we go along uh, and then we'll try to address all of your questions at the end. If we can't get to all of the questions, um, we'll definitely follow up with you uh, later today with answers. Okay. Today we have our special guest, John Grillo from Dell Ozone. Dell Ozone is a Contractor Circle member organization that has helped several customers in the NICOR gas territory get rebates for their new ozone laundry equipment. John will speak today about ozone laundry, how it works, how it can save your facility energy, and how it can save you money. Then I will go over the basics of the NICOR gas energy efficiency program and how to get a rebate for ozone laundry. I'm going to pass it over to John now. John, just let me know when you'd like me to change the slides. Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much, Christine. I appreciate the introduction. Uh, we could uh, flip the, to the next slide. So what today we're going, to, we're going to speak about, as Christine mentioned, we're going to talk about reducing uh, your laundry operational costs with the implementation of ozone laundering. Switch. So uh, before we get into that, just a little bit about ozone and, and, and Dell Ozone. Of course, we've been doing this for a long time, since 1975, with uh, because of our excellence in engineering, innovation, reliability, our products have become uh, world class. And what's also inter interesting, a lot of people find interesting, is that ozone has been around for over a century, and it's used in a lot more than just ozone laundry. It's used in bottled water. Almost every bottled water that you drink has been ozonated. It's used in commercial pools and parks and aquatic parks for public safety, fresh, clean, safe water, food safety from from ice to uh, to surface sanitation in, in restaurants and food processing, uh, increases storage of life of fruits and vegetables, a lot of different applications there. And uh, we have our units in millions and millions of uh, residential pools and spas. And most importantly, Dell Ozone does stand behind our product 100%. In fact, you'll see towards the end that in this particular product line in the Ozone Laundry, we have a 100% performance guarantee. Next slide. So before we talk about how we can reduce costs in laundry, sometimes it's uh, it's interesting to kind of review a little bit of the costs that go along with those with, with just your standard on-premise laundry. A lot of folks don't recognize is that, that when you have an on-premise laundry, such as a hotel, nursing home, hospital, prison, those kind of uh, facilities process a tremendous amount of linen. Somewhere in the tune, depending on the property and the property type, somewhere between 9 to 15 pounds a day, of resident or guest or patient. So if you think about a, just for round numbers, a 100 room uh, property or 150 room property, it would be somewhere around 1,500 pounds of linen processed every day and about two gallons. And, and when, you, when you do laundry, you use hot and cold water, somewhere between two and a half to three gallons of water. Two of those gallons are heated. So if you think about the amount of energy that you're using, this is why you have so much cost. And if you think about you have, say, say 1,500 pounds, two to three gallons of hot water per pound, 3,000 gallons of hot water you're heating up. And if you think of a tea kettle on a stove, you think of the energy it takes to heat that tea kettle, well, think about that, doing that to three, 4,000 gallons of water each and every day. And the math behind it is pretty simple. It takes, uh, it takes basically 
with one BTU to raise one pound of water one degree. We know that one gallon of water weighs about 8.34 pounds, so it's eight BTUs for every gallon of water. So if you think about how much gas and fuel that is to heat that water, you can see where some of your energy bill does come, that it's, it's quite significant and it's coming from the laundry. If you go to the next slide. That, of course, doesn't include your water and sewer bills and energy to operate the equipment, the electricity. So how are we going to save money with ozone laundry? Well, energy costs. We're going to reduce anywhere from 60, say 55 to 90 percent of the hot water usage. We're not eliminating hot water. That is, it's really important to note. I know there's been some folks out there that talk about reducing hot water by 100 percent, and I can tell you that you will not be happy in the long run with your with the linen outcomes, with getting all the staining and, and different issues out. We know that, say, for instance, a food and beverage formula uses more hot water than a sheets and towel formula. So one of the things that's important is that we use the proper formulas for the proper linen outcome, eliminating hot water where we can. Chemical costs. You're still going to use bleach, detergent, sour, and currently you use fabric softener along with those three. When we're doing ozone laundering, because uh, what, what happens, well, I'll back up a second, when, when we're doing a law, when I do laundry at my home, you do it at your home or you do it on your property, in a typical hot water bath, residual alkali or salt crystals form in the weave of the fabric. That is, they would be very irritating your skin. If you looked under a microscope, you'd see these little salt crystals in there. Well, that residual alkali or salt crystals would be irritating the skin if we didn't do something with it. So what we do in the, in the, uh, laundry, in the, in the laundry industry is we use a fabric softener. And a fabric softener is kind of like an oxymoron the name because it's actually a coating of synthetic plastics and fat that coat the weave of the fabric so we don't feel that uh, the salt crystals on our skin. Well, those salt crystals, being organic, get eliminated because ozone in the rinse process will break them down and wash them out. So since we don't have that residual alkali any longer, we can program out the fabric softener and it allows us to now, since we don't have that coating on the fabric anymore, it allows us to move the wash liquor through more effectively, allows us to rinse more effectively, and more important, it allows us to dry more effectively because there's less moisture in there. So we can actually start to turn back the dry times, and your laundry staff will notice absolutely after they do a load of laundry, when they pull it out of the washer, that there's a lot less moisture in there. So it's, uh, and you can, uh, you know, obviously less moisture there will take less dry time. So do you think about those big two, 300,000 BTU dryers and that big firebox on top, all that flame and, and energy that's being used to heat that, that all goes, that, that gets reduced anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes of a load. So if you think about doing 10 loads a day, three dryers, it's a considerable amount of BTUs and energy. So, and that's, and since we get rid of that fabric softener, it's one of the other reasons we talk about the, uh, the cleanliness and the softness we can be more effective at moving the wash liquor through because we don't have to fight the fabric softener. And in addition, we don't have that fabric softener in there, so the linen is more absorbent and it's a better experience for the guests because it's softer and more absorbent. And go to the next slide. How much money can we save? We just talked about reducing energy, reducing some chemical costs, reducing water and sewer costs, reducing uh, gas or natural gas, whatever you're using to heat the hot water. A 150-room uh, hotel can save about $15,000 a year. A typical nursing home, about $13,000 a year. Of course, the larger the property, the more energy you're saving because your your costs were higher. Next slide, please. So ozone, we talked about it. What is it? How is it made? Ozone is a gas. It's and you're all real familiar with it. If you've ever walked outside after a thunder and lightning storm, that fresh, clean scent in the air is ozone. And that is, it's really oxygen molecules that have been split and reattached. It's O3. So ozone is a gas, and it's O3. Oxygen molecules and O2 that split results in an individual oxygen atom, O1. Those unite with each other, forming an O3. You can switch to the next slide. And that, power, that bond between them is very weak. And so what that's trying to break apart very quick, and that's where the oxidation process happens, and, that, and what happens is that will break down and attack and oxidize any oxidizable substances, such as bacteria, fungus, viruses, forms of iron, oils, and it does it in various degrees depending on the, the, the you know, what it, where it is, but the fact is ozone is a very powerful oxidizer, and what else is an oxidizer? Chlorine, so ozone, like chlorine, it's an oxidizer. Go to the next slide. 
uh, ozone? Is it, is it recognized? Is it approved? I have a couple slides here just to give you a quick idea of that, that how powerful ozone is, but also that it has been approved by the EPA. And on, on the next slide, you're going to see several other approvals that it has. So it is recognized as approved antimicrobial disinfectant and sanitizer by all definitions. And interestingly enough, one part per million aqueous ozone is equivalent to 200 parts per million chlorine bleach. And if you look at, say, some of the uh, Center for Disease Control and Medicaid and Medicaid Services, they talk about having a 150 to 200 parts per million bleach in the bleach bath to kill, effectively kill bacteria and virus. Well, we get the equivalent of that four or five times in every uh, wash bath because we're going to inject those on every time cold water is injected. So in essence, we actually provide three to four times the amount of sanitation and disinfection than traditional hot water bath. Again, remembering ozone is a powerful oxidizer. Go to the next slide, please. Kind of a, the, <laughs> the, the, the big action here, what's really going on in the wash cycle. You can see on the left is uh, E. coli. It's actually, that's actually on a, at the skin of an apple. It's dried. And in less than a tenth of a second, you, after ozone has been introduced, you can see that the cell walls start to burst there. So that's what ozone does. It's a little different than UV where it, it, where the DNA, it inactivates the DNA. This actually destroys and breaks open the cell walls, and that's how it kills and oxidizes. Go to the next slide. A little bit about ozone regulatory. You can see it's been approved for bottled water, for food safety, for food additives and in, in uh, water sanitation. And in fact, down the bottom, it was recently improved, you see 2013, the CDC, Center for Disease Controls, and Center for Medicaid and Medicaid Services has approved it for ozone laundering in uh, hospitals and nursing homes. So it's, it's really come full circle. And while many of the states have accepted it for years now, now it's approved by really all the agencies. The next slide. So how does ozone work, and how do we get into the laundry? We'll talk about those things. Ozone, the gas, O3, replaces the caloric value of heat. So it kind of is doing the same thing, except we're introducing it in cold water. And as we talked about, it's a powerful oxidizer. So as we, as the washers fill, ozone, as, as washers fill, cold water is passing through our Venturi and injection system. We're going to show you a couple of pictures of that. It automatically turns our system on, and ozone is introduced into the water, into solution under pressure through our Venturi system. So it's, there's really no work for anyone to do there. It happens automatically. Every time the cold water fills into the washer, we're interjecting, introducing ozone into the solution, into the water. Interestingly enough, ozone, while it's powerful like an ox and it's an oxidizer like chlorine, it's much faster. It's about 200 times faster and more effective at chlorine than destroying bacteria and blood pathogens and other microorganisms in the soiled linens. So it's, uh, you don't have to worry about it being slower. It's much faster. Go to the next slide, please. Uh, some, some typical questions and things about before we go to the pictures. Uh, why can't we buy ozone and get it in tanks or have it delivered? Well, we produce it on site because ozone has a very short half-life. We talked about that weak bond. It starts to separate, and ozone reverts back to oxygen, and, and depending on the temperature and environment, humidity, anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. So we have to make it on site. So we install our generator, the ozone generator, right on the wall, and then our management system gets it into the wash water, and we're going to see a picture of that in one month. Go to the next slide. Uh, on the uh, two ends, of course, are the washer extractors, and that box in the middle is our ozone generator. And, and you can see the size there, about 18 by uh, 24 by about 8 inches deep. And that, that ozone generator will handle up to about 220 pounds of wash. As we get larger washers or, or a larger, greater number of washers, we, may, we, we do the engineering. We figure out what size generators we need or how many generators we need. And as you can see, the installation is basically very simple. There was, prior to uh, our installation, you basically had your uh, hose bibs that had a cold and hot water feed to your washer. We're going to take your cold water feeds, run it to our assembly, as you can see there, which is the Venturi valve and bypass, and then we'll take a hose off the uh, load side of that and run it to your washer. So in essence, we're really just breaking in the line of the, uh, the cold water, and as cold water fills, as your washer calls for cold water, our generator turns on automatically through a vacuum switch, 
and ozone is introduced into solution, which is key. Ozone in solution is where we get that aqueous ozone and that powerful biocide. Go to the next slide. Here's a picture of uh, real life. This happens to be two generators. That, that one box to the right, the smaller silver to the left, the small silver is not part of our system. The two generators there are our system, and this was, as I mentioned, a larger installation where they had about uh, four 90-pounders, so we needed two generators. And you can see our little bypass valve there is uh, brought out, is marked off right under the uh, parasolic pumps for the chemical provider. So that's really our system, the, the two gray boxes and that bypass assembly and venturi valve. You're, we use your existing washers. We work with your existing chemical provider. And we reprogram the wash formulas to call for less hot water. It's really where it all happens. We reprogram your washers to call for less hot water. So kind of, you know, when the question comes up, how do you save money? It's programmed out. We programmed out a portion of the hot water through your programmers. You can go to the next slide. Another photograph, you can see the, uh, the venturi valves in the back there with the red handle on it, the bypass and venturi valves in the back, getting on a typical installation, a couple of 60-pound washers there. Go to the next slide. Easy installation. The system takes day to a day and a half to install for a complete working system. Uh, in, in our particular installation, we handle everything from the installation to, of the generators to the valves, operations, reprogramming of the washers, uh, and in service with your staff. As I mentioned, we work with uh, existing with your existing chemical prevent, provider, uh, and, I, and there is a kind of a caveat to that: the enzyme-based products. Formula One or, you know, some of the other uh, enzyme-based products. We do not work well with ozone. Uh, breaks down and destroys those enzymes, so it's not effective. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the truth is that we work best with the plain, lowest-cost bleach detergent and sour. So it really is, uh, there's no need to buy oxygenated product or any special chemicals. It's the uh, standard, standard chemical, standard bleach detergent and uh, sour. We have, uh, again, we work with all existing washers. Uh, the caveat there is if they're non-programmable, in other words, the, the program, the, the wash formulas can't be changed or altered, then, of course, the, the installation would not be beneficial to you because we would not be able to reduce the hot water. So we would consider that an installation that couldn't be done. The operation for the laundry staff remains the same, so it's very easy. For instance, if the staff today, they probably have a formula place card on the wall. They, they, you know, they may press formula one for sheets, two for towels, three for heavy soap, four for rags and mops. We're going to program the washers the same way, so the staff really has nothing new to learn. We're, when we're done, the ozone formulas will be one for sheets, two for towels, three for rags and mops, and four, you know, or four for heavy soils. I'm sorry, three for rags and mops and four for heavy soil. So very simple. There's no new tricks for the laundry staff to learn. We do go through an in-service with them, however, just because we believe it is important that they understand what ozone is, how it works, and why it's reducing costs for the facility. We make sure they understand the proper operations of the generator, but the reality of it is day-to-day -day operation, they do nothing different than what they're doing today. They will, however, use a lot less uh, hand cream because we got rid of that residual alkali, so it's softer on our hands. It's going to be cooler in the laundry room. It'll be a little bit more comfortable, and, the, and you'll be reducing energy costs and providing better linen product for your uh, residents and guests. Next slide, please. Savings verification. So we talked about this. Uh, it sounds good. You're going to reduce costs. Well, how do we know? Well, if you, if you recall what we talked about earlier, how we save money? We save money by reducing hot water. Well, we want to prove that to you, and we actually put water meters on. And uh, Christine could probably talk about this later. Part of some of the, uh, the programs that have been done with the utilities also do the measuring and metering and verification, and that's how they provide their utility incentives where available. And we'll actually measure each wash step, pre-ozone and post-ozone, so you, with your facility staff and they can see for themselves the exact amount of hot water that's reduced. Because if you remember, it takes one BTU to raise one pound of water one degree. So if we know how many gallons are reduced, we know how many BTUs are reduced because if we, can understand, if we understand your boiler temperature, the efficiencies. We take all that into, into consideration. It's a very straightforward math pro, uh, formula, and, it, you know, and it's straight-up physics. 
and that's how we come up with our energy analysis and cost saving analysis. It's very straightforward. We, we're going to reduce hot water. Go to the next slide. It's another example of a formula record chart where on the left is the uh, pre-ozone and on the right is the post-ozone. And you can see that there was 84 gallons of this one, one particular uh, house linens formula. So if you think about they do 8 to 10 loads of this a day, they're saving over 800 gallons of hot water. And if you think about the incoming water temperature somewhere around 50 to 60 degrees being uh, heated up to anywhere from 125 to 160, depending on the facility and the type, it's a considerable amount of energy. So this is, again, more proof and an easy way to understand. We actually go in and change the programs to call for less hot water. Go to the next slide. Uh, Christine asked us to put together some uh, examples of some properties in, in, the, in her territory. And you can see that the ROI, uh, you know, first year return on investment goes from anywhere from, I, I would say, without looking at this sheet, I would have said we, we average around 60 to uh, 120 percent. So you can see some we have here at 58 percent up to uh, 168 percent, depending on the incentives, depending on the uh, temperature of the boiler the efficiencies of the boilers and various things, but uh, you can see that the return on investment in years is, is typically well under two years, again, depending on the site. But here's uh, good examples of some, uh, these are mostly hotels here. We have a lot of nursing homes in the area also. Um, Christine, you go to the next slide. So to kind of wrap it up, Ozone laundering, why, of course, to reduce cost. Most of the energy savings is going to come from reducing the hot water. Uh, we will see some reduced uh, water and sewer costs depending on your formulas. If, if uh, Quite often we find that with ozone laundering we can reduce a, uh, a rinse, one or two rinses, depending on the existing wash formulas that were in there. So we can see sometimes, depending on the water and sewer costs, significant savings there. We're going to reduce the dry times. Uh, we're going to get rid of the fabric softener, so right away we have that cost. And, and again, so it's improved linen, uh, softer linen, more absorbent linen, and we have immediate cost savings from day one. Go to the next slide. So why now? Uh, the, our program, as I mentioned, has the 100% performance guarantee, and that is very straightforward if for any reason anyone is not satisfied with the energy savings, the linen outcomes, the color of our ozone generator, we would remove it immediately and there's no cost or obligation for the system. So it's really uh, very risk-free. Uh, I mentioned earlier there's immediate reduced costs. Uh, Christine is going to talk a little bit about the, the rebates. NICOR has a great uh, incentive program and uh, you know we appreciate their engineering team took a lot of time to really understand all our claims and did a lot of metering, monitoring, testing. So they give a, a very nice incentive for the program. Uh, we have some uh, self-funding financing options, so you can get into this with no out-of-pocket costs. Of course, if uh, green initiatives are important, reduce CO2, re reduce carbon footprint, this is great for that. We'll offer a, uh, we'll show you the uh, CO2 reduction through a uh, environmental stewardship award certificate. And I will tell you, it's, uh, we don't talk about it a lot in the beginning, but quite often, what we hear is four, six months, a year later, is that the, uh, the staff really noticed a great improvement in the linen, softer on their hands, smells nicer, and the guests are seeing softer, cleaner, whiter, fresher linen. And we know it's fresher and safer because we have the much higher uh, biocide and oxidation potential going in there. So we know that we're delivering a cleaner product, and you'll see for yourself the whiter, cleaner linen. Go to the next slide. So that's really, uh, I think, a quick overview of the program. Uh, we, we certainly could provide uh, cost savings analysis so you can see for yourself exactly what it costs. There's no cost or obligation for that. And we're happy to do that for any of uh, Christine's contacts. And, we, and then you can determine for yourself if this thing makes sense. Once we know your numbers, we can really zero down and determine exactly what the savings would be at that property. That's uh, my contact information. I. Uh, Thank NICOR and Christine for having us on today, and I look forward to any questions or comments. Great. Uh, thank you so much, John. Um, I'm just going to leave this up for a few seconds so you can jot down John's contact information. Um, 
in case you want to contact him directly about questions um, after the fact or if you want to learn more about Delozone. Um, like, like he said, he has done a few projects in our area and um, they've all turned out pretty well and we have great incentives for all those customers. So um, he's a really good resource to, to talk to. Um, so now we're going to switch gears and talk a little bit about the NICOR Gas Energy Efficiency Program. Uh, here's a map of the NICOR Gas Service Territory. Private commercial customers in the green area will qualify for the following programs. The territory is the northwest portion or the northeast portion of the state with the exception of Chicago and parts of the North Shore. Uh, public entities do not qualify for this program. The NICOR Gas Energy Efficiency Program is a ratepayer funded program. So every NICOR Gas customer, residential and commercial, is paying into the program. You can see the line item labeled Energy Efficiency Programs each month on your facility's bill. You can get up to $500,000 a year back from the program through rebates and incentives for energy efficiency upgrades. The programs will be changing after May 31st of 2014. Please have your equipment installed and operational by May 31st and your application submitted before June 30th to be eligible for the rebates at the current levels. The programs will still be around next year after June 1st, uh, but we just don't know what those are going to look like just yet. The ozone laundry rebate falls under our business rebates program. We offer a rebate of $25 per pound of washer capacity. In order to receive this rebate, you must submit an application and an itemized invoice within 90 days after installation. You can find the application at NICORGASRebates.com or you can ask me and I can send it to you directly. There are a few eligibility requirements I want to mention. All of the requirements can be found at NICORGASRebates.com. Um, but also, again, feel free to reach out to me after the presentation. I can send you direct links to the information on the website. The rebate is $25 per pound of washer capacity. That rebate is capped at the project cost, and that includes installation costs. As we discussed, the program is changing after May 31st, so your systems must be installed and operational by that day in order to qualify for the current rebate level. The installed system must use ozone and it must be installed in an on-site laundry facility with a natural gas fired boiler or water heater. As I mentioned, you'll need to submit an application and an invoice. The invoice must have the following items, a total capacity of the washer machine, because that is how we determine the rebate amount. We need the make, model, and serial number of the ozone laundry system, the installation and purchase dates, the total installed cost, and your payment terms, as well as the professional contractor's information. If your contractor is a member of Contractor Circle, our Trade Ally Benefit Program, they are able to offer the rebate as an instant discount if you'd like. This means that they can offer the rebate as an upfront deduction off of your bill and we would pay the contractor the rebate directly. Please have your contractor contact us um, and we can give them more information on how to participate and offer the instant discount. Ozone laundry is not the only rebate we offer to commercial customers. We offer um, many other types of rebates for energy efficient upgrades. And I'm going to quickly go through these. 
Um, first, we have steam traps. We offer a rebate up to $500 per steam trap. We offer rebates for boiler controls, boiler tune-ups, and boiler replacements. These rebates are based on the size and efficiency of the boiler. Other rebates, we have um, pipe insulation, demand control ventilation, programmable thermostats, and pool and spa covers. We also have rebates for heating equipment, such as furnaces, unit heaters, and water heaters. And again, these are uh, often based on the size and efficiency of the equipment. So I went through those pretty quickly, but if you have any questions on other rebates uh, besides the ozone laundry, I'm happy to help you with those applications and tell you a little bit more about the breakdown of the incentive as well as the paperwork involved. But all of these rebates uh, are the same as ozone in that you have 90 days after installation to apply with your application and your invoice in order to receive the rebate. For any large energy saving project that doesn't quite fit in the business rebate program, so that list of rebates I just went through, we can consider it through our custom incentive program. The custom incentive program tailors an incentive to your specific project based on the energy savings. You can receive up to a dollar per therm saved that is capped at 50% of the project cost or $500,000. Unlike the business rebate program, the custom incentive program requires pre-approval on all projects. I can offer one-on-one -on -one support for all of the paperwork needed for these projects, so please contact me if you have an idea of a project at your facility and we can get started. As John mentioned, ozone laundry started as something we considered through the custom incentive program, and our engineers did do uh, extensive research and, and study of the systems that were installed, um, and we are confident in the savings that now it is part of our rebate program, so it no longer requires pre-approval. Um, now we can open it up to questions. I think there's a few here. Um, but if you have any questions, again, on the rebates in the future, um, on ozone or any of the other rebates, please contact me. Um, here's my email. I understand it's very long, but I'll give you a couple seconds to write it down. Okay, and I'm going to take a look at some of these questions. Um, okay, uh, John, we have a question here. Um, what type of maintenance is required with the ozone generator? Oh, that's a great question. We have, uh, excuse me, I'm just going to close the door. I'm getting an echo from someone else in the office. Hold on. Okay. Uh, the maintenance on these generators is, uh, I'm going to say very important, but yet the good news is very simple. It's important that they breathe. Uh, they're just like you and I. If uh, We're going to run great for a while, but if we're not breathing, we're definitely going to uh, no longer function properly. So there is an air intake screen on the bottom, which needs to be kept clean of dust or lint, so wiped off every couple of weeks or a month, depending on the, uh, you know, the, the, the environment and the amount of dirt or lint in the area. And internally, there is a rubber and paper filter similar to the old uh, paper uh, cartridge filters in a car, and that is no tools required. This snaps uh, on and off without any tools, and that should be done, again, once, twice a year, depending on the environment, and that's a very low-cost piece. Every two to three years, again, depending on hours of operation, 
there is a compressor inside, and there is a uh, compressor rebuild kit, which takes about 45 minutes from, to an hour of someone that's, you know, not really trained any maintenance man to change out the rings and that. So uh, they're the pretty, they're the most basic pieces. Uh, of course, just general cleanliness. But, but what I will tell you is that when our generators now to make sure that this is done properly, we have decided, and this every system that we offer is sold with a with a are called our uh, our platinum maintenance program, which includes all the parts that you need to do the maintenance are shipped out uh, um, at the proper intervals. So your facility manager would have the proper air filter and rebuild kit all at his disposal at the proper time with the instructions. So. We, uh, well, well, our generators are made very well and really built for the last 15, 20 years. They need the proper maintenance, and we want to make sure that you have the parts to do that. We also offer a program, uh, in addition to the parts that come with it, sent out on the proper intervals. We also offer a program for an additional charge where we'll perform the preventive maintenance. So uh, important, easy to do, but should needs to be done. Great. Thank you. Um, we have another question. Um, John, maybe maybe you can answer this. Uh, is ozone technology also used for swimming pools or spas as an alternative to chlorine? It, well, uh, I tell you, it is if you're talking residential, uh, many people use it as an alternative. If you're talking commercial, and commercial meaning any pool where the public goes, whether it's a YMCA or a water park or a hotel pool or a, or a therapy pool, you need you have to have chlorine, and ozone acts as a secondary form of sanitation. Now, with that being said, ozone in commercial applications will reduce the amount of chlorine required by anywhere from 50 to 60 percent because it really does become the the primary sanitizer, and it and but chlorine is still needed, and the reason for that is chlorine has a residual property that it will kill bather to bather load um, stuff that's floating around in the pool, whereas ozone is installed in the recirculation line and acts really as a uh, kind of a booster to the chlorine. So we, we absolutely install large commercial uh, pools and residential pools. So it's a terrific way to clean up the water, get rid of the chloramine smell, fresh, clean water, it's a drastic improvement to the clarity, so it works tremendously, but it's not an alternative in commercial. You need both, according to the uh, CDC. But uh, recently, the CDC has come out and said that chlorine will not kill certain things, uh, cryptosporidium being one of them that can live in a properly chlorinated pool, and the CDC is recommending that ozone as a secondary form of sanitation will, in fact, kill that. Great. Um, I have another question, and, and maybe the... The asker can clarify. Um, I, I think what we're asking is, um, how do you know if the ozone is actually getting into the wash, um, or how how would you be able to detect a problem with the ozone system? No, I, mean, I, 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 I think I understand the question, and I guess if they need more clarification, please type in again. Uh, that is a good question, and there is really two ways. There's the there's the mechanical way, our generator has proper lights on it that are very simple to understand and when operating properly there's a green light that operates when ozone is filling and there's a red light when it is not, so it's pretty pretty clear on the generator. But I'll tell you a more, getting to the more practical matter, it's really no different, I, I, I would say, than how do you know when the bleach or detergent is not in there? Your linen results aren't going to be good very quickly just as they might have a, a smell or an odor. So if ozone were to not be operating, what we do is we provide a uh, backup set of hot water formulas. If for some reason our system goes down, it takes us a day or two to fix it. Uh, we do have an emergency backup set of formulas in there, so you could go to your hot water wash for a day or two until it's repaired. But I would say it's really no outside of our operational lights, and there is, of course, testing for ozone in the water that you could do. But on a day-to-day -day operation, there is a set of lights that are very clear and easy to understand. And in the in-service, that's all becomes uh, it's clear and left there, the proper instructions. Okay. Are there any other questions? Give it a minute. 
Uh, I think I think that might be all of our questions for today. Um, so just going to uh, reiterate that you can feel free to reach out to uh, either me, myself, or John about uh, different questions. Um, you will be able to get this a, uh, a recording of this webinar on the website if any of you know your coworkers uh, weren't able to dial in today. Um, and you can always reach out directly. And again, all of the rebate information is on NICORGASRebates.com. Um, so thank you all so much for listening in today. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll be hearing from you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.